You couldn't have asked for better weather today for the Class 1A Boys Golf Sectional over in the Springfield area this morning. They tackled the Edward, Edgewood Golf Course near Auburn, and it didn't take long for junior Nick Bruns of Illini West to dial it in. This is his second shot of the morning, and just watch the cup closely. Bruns sticks this one in, inch from the hole. In fact, he said the ball was leaning over the hole when he got up there. Nick Bruns started the year by winning the DA Wybring Invitational in the year's first tournament, and he was still on his game today as he shot a 79 in today's round. For a team to win a championship though, it takes a deep play lineup. Matthew Boudreau shot up 84 today to help QND Raiders climb the leader, leaderboard, but it was the one-two punch of QND that led the way again. Sophomore Bo Ethnic was terrific. Here he is on number two and that difficult shot landed on the front of the green to help him par the hole. Later on, this third, third shot on the par five Fit that set him up for a tap in birdie. Eftink then would go on birdie, birdie, eagle run. Eftink was the medalist today, finishing with a 72. Connor Craven also started out great. He was off the green here on number two, but this chip set up for a short putt for par. On number three, Craven with a nice chip. He continued to save strokes with a great short game today. One final highlight here, he is for an eagle on number five. This allowed Craven to tap it in. He ended with a 77. On the team front, Quincy Notre Dame was able to capture first place overall and punched her ticket to state after shooting a 319. And how about Russell Industry? They will also be heading to state later this week after placing third as a team. Other individual state qualifiers include Ryoth Wart from Brown County and Adam Freeze from Payson, who shot an 80 and 81, respectively. The IHSA girls sectional was also taking place this morning down in Roxana, Illinois. Let's get right into the action. Lots of noise from the sky on the course today, but it didn't stop our local girls from showing off their talents. On hole number one, Lady Raiders Bella Bedreau would recover from a rocky start as she knocks this one up onto the green. She would go on a two putt to save the bogey. Same hole, different group, Q&D's Meredith Eversman getting things going as she drills the par foot from about six feet out. She had a big day for the blue and gold this morning. Over on number three, McCombs, Taryn Ritchie. Off in the rough, she strikes her iron and watches it as it bounces up onto the green. She'd walk up and two-putt that one in for the par. And over on the next hole, the first par three of the course, McCombs, Josie Calver in a bit of a predicament, hitting from under the tree line, but comes through in the clutch with a nice bump and run. She was able to save par from that spot. When it's all over, Quincy Notre Dame would finish ninth and McComb would finish 12th. QND's Belle Bedreau and Rushville's Caitlin Seymour will advance the state as individuals. At Norwood's Golf Course this morning, the inaugural CCC Golf Meet took place. Highland came in first place with a score of 405. And in their first season with a girls golf program, they take the conference championship. All five golfers on the team were also named all conference. Monroe City came in fourth after shooting a 467.